you're probably looking at me like, girl, bye. Why did you even bother to waste your money on buying all the same colors? But hear me out. Stay tuned to see how these Sasha matte lip velvets look on my melanated complexion. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'd already know this story. But quite a while ago, I went looking for like a dark brown color for my lips. Now, if you know me personally, I have never been one to like dabble in too many lipsticks. I don't really generally like lipsticks, but I wanted to kind of branch out and like kind of broaden my horizons in terms of my lip colors because I'm a very like safe person, very nude or like a pinky nude or red is probably the boldest I've gotten. Um, so I wanted to do kind of like a vampy dark brown kind of situation, which is very unlikely for me or unheard of for me normally so i decided you know what tanisha branch out live your life <laughs> so i went to the girl at sasha on the last day of their sale if you guys checked out that sale it was pretty good and i think she gave me the hashtag and i'll swatch it for you guys so you could see what it looks like after but she gave me the hashtag and when i came home and i used it because obviously um i will i did not the point in time that you could use the testers um, so I just kind of went on her recommendation when I asked for dark brown, she gave me hashtag, wasn't quite what I wanted, so I shouted out to my IG fam and they gave me some recommendations, which I got these three and we'll go into that a little bit later. So let's go in order and I'm just going to test these out for you guys, give you a little swatchy swatch. So as you guys can see, that is a little bit more of a red color. Um, not necessarily what I was going for, but that is, is kind of what I got. So that is the swatch of hashtag. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going in with hashtag and I have like a little setup here. Um, so if you guys see me looking off, that's where I'm looking into. Now, as you guys could see from the first coat, it is a little bit... see through I feel like it needs a second coat but that's just me if also if anybody has any recommendations on how to like get this part of your lip to take color <laughs> hit me up because I always have issues doing that so let's go with a second coat and see I'm just looking at my mirror head to make sure I don't look crazy so that doesn't look bad at all and it dries very very quickly like even in me doing that, you could see it does transfer. Um, so don't expect it to not transfer. I don't think it's that matte, but um, it's not bad. I would definitely pair this with a lip liner though, but I do like this color. It's, it's red, but it still has like a hint of orange to it. Whereas the other red that I have, I think is more so like a red with more of like a purple undertone. So this is a little bit different for me. So I'm not mad at it, not mad at it at all. Yeah, this is hashtag. So I have my micellar water standby ready here just to go ahead and get these off really quickly and we'll move on. Next one I'm going to swatch is, now I went looking for Live It Up, which is a color that Miss Lisa Madonna on Instagram had told me about. I think I saw it in her stories and it looked really nice. And so I went back to look for it. They told me apparently it's discontinued. I don't know. So the girl suggested I try Rev It Up, which is the one I'm going to swatch for you guys right now. And this one is more of like a vampy plum kind of color. And I'll show it to you guys right now. So you could see hashtag was the first one by my thumb finger. And the second one is Rev It Up, which is more, like I said, a plummy kind of burgundy color. Alrighty, so next up is the color Rev It Up. And like I told you guys, this is like the vampy color. I'm just grabbing my mirror here again. <laughs> Now this color I actually really do like and in terms of like the velvet like I didn't think I would Ooh, I just caught a glimpse of myself there I really do love this color um I really really like this I didn't think I would like this so much but it looks really really good 
and in terms of the velvet aspect of the color um i definitely think that it's not as drying as i thought it would be i mean i probably need to wear it on for a little bit longer to see actually how it really really dries and stays on but so far it's not like thick and cakey like i imagined a lip velvet would be or like a matte lip shade would be because i imagine that for the longest time that anything matte would just leave it would feel really cakey on and it would just leave my lips feeling really weird it actually feels lighter than like regular lipsticks that i buy from sasha which is interesting like i do feel like i have this huge mass of stuff on my lips um so that's interesting it just kind of goes on really light and i like that so i think I'm thinking that lip shade or lip stains, these matte lip velvets, could be a, a thing. Hmm. Because <laughs> I actually do like how lightweight it feels and I like the coverage on this one. I, I really do like it. And it looks good on my skin complexion. It looks good with this brown outfit. I feel like it could go with a lot. It kind of has like a pink undertone. Um, there's a bit of blue in it I feel like so it's like a purple with a cooler undertone and I kind of like it at least I think it's cool I don't know don't come for me <laughs> and even with like taking it off with the micellar water it is coming off surprisingly easy like I thought these things were like some of those matte lipsticks that like caked on and get really difficult to remove I find that it's coming off really easily I don't have to like scrub my lips too much which is nice I also got a recommendation from Miss Trim on Instagram as well and she suggested no filter as like a really deep brown now when I first saw it and I first watched it on my Instagram stories I was like "Ooh, that is very dark but I actually tried it on and it actually doesn't look bad on me so let me swatch that one for you guys as well and this is what we have here so as you can see it's like a rich chocolate brown you guys could definitely see that there so yeah so now we are going on to the third color which is no filter like i told you guys this is the darkest of the shades So this is what no filter looks like it is a very 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 dark color very dark brown but i think with certain outfits it would go like this kind of like bronzy orangey makeup vibe is like makeup look is completely a vibe with this lip the only problem this like um i put lipstick or the lip stain there and it's not staying like Let me see if it stays now. But it didn't spread as easily as the others. Um, as you can see, it is very, very, very pigmented. Um, definitely giving off that vampy look. So yeah, that is no filter. I think because I added a little bit more, it started off being a little more sticky than the others. But I feel like as it dries, like completely, because it's, I feel like it's still not completely dry, but I feel like as it dries, it will not be as tacky. But as you guys could see, it still erased there. Like, I don't know if that's just a me problem, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can't get it to like be one flush color all throughout my bottom lip, which is a little bit annoying. Um, well, as I said, comment down below and help you girl out. How do you get rid of or how you stop that from happening? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, the final color is I'm the boss. And this one, the lady, it was less than the sale price of the other lip stains. But the lady told me, you know what, this one would look really, really good over top of the Revit Up. And I was like, okay, fine. She was like, it'll look good on your complexion. And it was less than the sale price. So I was like, 
let's try it out. <laughs> I I said on Instagram that she bamboozled me into it and she kind of did, but I was actually really happy that she did because this is probably my favorite color that I picked up. As you guys could see, it's like a pinkish kind of like red wine type of color with a little bit of a glitter in it. These are what they look like in the tube. As you guys could see them here. And as you could see, they definitely look like different colors out of the tube and I'm here for it. So last but not least, we have um, the boss. And this um, on the swatch was my favorite. So let's see if, if let's see if it's my favorite actually wearing it. I think this one might be similar to the no filter in that I'm not guessing it to stay in the middle of my lip. But I think because this one is a little bit closer to a pink color, you don't notice it as much. Um, but then that it's a pretty neutral color. Like it, it's very reminiscent of things or colors that I've worn before. So I think I'm not as hype about it. Not that it isn't a nice color, but like I said, very close to things that I've worn before. So it's cool. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the combination that the girl told me would look really good on my complexion, which is wrap it up underneath I'm the boss. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I really feel like I was bamboozled because all this looks like is the same exact color, but just with some gold iridescent kind of flakes in it. I actually have no idea if this looks any different than just wearing I'm the boss on its own or wrap it up on its own. I don't know. But you guys can let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below actually let me know which of these is your favorite um out of all of the five four lip stains and then this combination let me know which one was your favorite um i feel like i'll wear this on for like the rest of the evening just to see what it's giving and come back and give like a final review of my thoughts about how it actually feels like the wearability of it um and yeah that should be the end of the video so i will catch you guys back in a little bit all right y'all so i am back it has been maybe like an hour later and i just wanted to come and update you guys on what has been happening with the lips now i took off the combination that i had just now which was the rev it up and the omnibus it even when i was applying it initially i don't know if you guys if if it showed up in the clip i will insert it but you kind of saw like the formula started separating a little bit. I'm not sure what that was about. So I was like, you know what, Nisha? I don't want to like be unfair to the product. So I took that off and I reapplied No Filter, which is the darkest of the shades. And I keep like, that is a habit of mine. I keep like smacking my lips. So I don't know if, because I don't know if you guys could see. Like you could tell like right here, it's starting to break up a little bit. And I don't know if it's because I keep tapping my lips together like that. But that is what is happening with it. So yeah, I don't want to say that it is necessarily going to continue to like break up and flake off like this. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you have any idea as to why that is happening. If I research it and putting on this video, I'll put a little disclaimer. Maybe editing me might come back. But for right now, that is what I'm experiencing. Um, I don't know if that's normal for matte shades or not. It's my first time, so I don't know. But um, yeah, that has been my experience. Mixing the two shades was, was a little bit problematic. Maybe if I try mixing it now, let me see what happens. No, it goes on pretty smoothly and I keep like rubbing it in like regular I don't know if that's my problem like I rub it I'm like trying to massage it in like I would with regular lipstick and I don't know if that's something you should or should not do with a matte um, lip stain but 
I think maybe it's just like my application. Something must be off with my application. But other than that, I really do like the lip stains for how lightweight it is. I was not expecting that at all. So that was a pleasant surprise. Like I said, I'm not a girl who likes lipsticks. And so I don't like the heavy feeling of things on my lips. If you do put the double coat, you will find that you feel it on your lips more than if you just put a single coat. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but yeah. I do like the fact that these would be better worn on the mask, and that's why I think this time around I opted for the matte shades because, I mean, restaurants are going to open back soon, and um, your girl probably, you know, wants to put on a little lipstick going out with her mans, you know? <laughs> so I do want to be able to wear this under my mask and not worry about it smudging too much and causing a mess. So the match shade was just the option that I went for and I'm pretty happy with it, happy with all of the colors and I'm definitely looking to experiment in the future and like test out different combinations with things that I already have and yeah. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, then definitely hit the thumbs up button if you've gotten to this point in the video and you're not yet subscribed, sis or sir. It would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss future uploads. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the very next video. Take care, guys. Bye!